Hello my soccer universe. Let's start this game review cycle with the Women's World Cup where we had the first quarterfinal. A little bit odd scheduling I have to say. We have now had yesterday the first quarterfinal, then we have one today and then two on Saturday. Um, either do it to two or make one each day, but this seems to be a little bit odd. Anyway, uh, the england Norway matchup sounds like sounded a lot interesting because you know england is a pretty good team and norway has quite some pedigree in the build-up however uh reading through it and also watching and seeing a game it was not that much of a contest because the english side is very strong over the right and the weak defensive side for norway is the left and that's exactly what happened that uh england exploited this as they best can and the game hit the deciding point very early on at a point where i actually haven't even switched to that i think i saw the game from the 10th to roughly the 60th and not very attentively um i wanted to, i was slightly preparing the african cup of nations jersey review so yeah my bad um i will for surely see more of tonight's uh quarterfinal but as I said, already early in the third minute, Jill Scott makes it 1-0 uh, in a move that went over the right over Browns and Paris and she uh, puts it via the uh, white post into the net. Uh, then, you know, England was not going forward with as much um, urgency as before, but still had the better of the game. Um, Ellen White hit the post around the 35th, uh, again attacking move from the right side and then another nice attacking move, Bronze, Paris, White, all with one touches, but you know, not one touch foot, football with, with, with direction, it was just a wide pass played. Uh, Paris uh, gets the uh, runs with the ball, it just makes one touch to um, White, who can slot it in in the 40th minute and that basically sealed the deal. If there was any doubt, um, then in the second half, uh, after a corner, Bronze takes it directly, uh, one times it basically under the crossbar into the net. It hit the center of the goal, however, um, you know, I and this is nothing against web women's talk, it's just an observation. I saw that women's goalkeepers, of course, they're not as tall as most of the men's goalkeepers. So uh, aiming high is, I think, a good uh, thing if you can. And I think that's what happened there. Uh, the instinct says uh, if it goes on center of goal, it got to be in. But it came with a lot of force. So it was a really beautiful goal, probably the best of the bunch. There could have been more. Norway had a pretty good chance afterwards. And at that moment, I didn't watch anymore because I thought it's late. I need to get some Z's in. Um, had a good chance, it was cleared off the line and England got a penalty that Paris, uh, that effort was saved. So I guess at 3-0 this is all forgivable, but in the semi-final there will be a tougher opponent because it's either France or the United States and this is the biggest, the big matchup tonight. But we have England on to the semi-final uh, and we're going to see who will win the big one. Uh, the most hyped women's game that I can ever remember. Let me know if you saw a little bit more of the game, um, if you can add something in the comments below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.